guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Asia, and I'm here to do a review on She Fit Bras. Um, I know it's been a while since I've made a video. I've been super busy with work, uh, super busy with church and a lot of other things, so um, I'm back. So like I said, I'm gonna be doing a review on the She Fit Bras. I have one on right now. Um, if you don't know what She Fit is, it is a brand that makes these really, you know, durable, um, sports bras they have like all these like straps and stuff uh, but they're for um, high intensity high impact workouts so it's no secret that I have giant boobs uh, I have spent a number of dollars on trying to find sports bras and regular bras that fit me and um, honestly almost to no avail I pretty much wear Nike sports bras or Old Navy sports bras they fit and they they get the job done but um like i said i spent a lot of money on bras so i figured why not i've been seeing a lot of ads on instagram and facebook um and decided to give them a try the price point is about 70 dollars. so with me having the boobs that i have 70 dollars is pretty normal for a bra um and i just wanted to take the chance and see what the hype was all about so i bought the bra um actually this is the second time that i've gotten this bra the first time I did their um, I did their quiz, their survey to figure out what size I was. No shade to she fit, but that survey was extremely wrong. Um, I bought a medium because that's what the survey said. Y'all can look at me and tell me. You can tell that I'm not a medium. So um, I sent the first one back. They sent me another one, free shipping. Um, so that's cool that they have free returns and free exchanges. And um, yeah so my actual size this is a one lux which i feel like if you can't see like it has some like um uh, side boob uh top boob or whatever so you know if it's okay i probably could have gone with the two lux but the reason why i did is because i have a smaller like band area um and i was more concerned about that whenever i get sports bras because i'll be doing all kind of stuff and my boobs will come out from underneath and so I really wanted to make sure that this strap right here, let me see if I can get to it. There's a strap on the back that um, keeps things from, that you can adjust, which is like really cool to me. So um, I decided to go with the smaller one because I was more concerned about that really than what's going on on top. So this review, I decided that I was gonna do the most bouncy, high intensity, move around to see like to put this to the test so i've already been running um and excuse the way that i look right now because i've already um worked out this morning it's about seven it's seven ten right now um, i've already worked out this morning but it was a low impact strength workout but i'm gonna do a quick um uh, like hit type of workout to see how this bra um holds true so uh, yeah so excuse me with this hat because <laughs> baby this hair looks crazy underneath so, y'all tune in. I'm about to do this workout really quick, and you guys tell me what you think, and I'll give you a review afterwards. Okay guys, so I just finished my workout um, and I'll give you guys an honest review. To start off, I'm not getting paid to review this. That's why you know it's going to be honest. Um, so again, fit wise, you can see my boobs on the side, you know, hanging out. I have like, I can adjust them a little bit, you know, get them back in there. But after a workout, my boobs started to come out the sides. Um, and granted, I wear a 34 g 34 h you know so i have a very unique boob size my boobs are huge but i have a small waistband so that's why i figured this is gonna work um or i feel like this is a better option than the nike ones that i use um the adidas one that i use because these just fit better um i think that i might have had too high of expectations for this bra because i really just wanted my boobs to not move at all uh maybe with my cup size that's not possible because as you can see they still moving around but granted they're not moving around as much 
as they would in a Nike bra um, or an Adidas bra. So for my big boob girls, if you are a, um, I would say a triple D and below, you probably could, could do really well with this bra. Um, you, it probably won't move at all, unlike mine. But I think that once you start to get past the triple D, um, just don't have too high expectations. Uh, this bra, I would give it like a 6.5 out of 10. Um, really because overall, it's a better bra than the ones that I'm wearing uh, to work out in. But the reason why they didn't get the other 3.5 points is because, you know, I have boob spillage um, a little bit on top, as you can see, um, after the workout. Uh, also, this is not the kind of bra that I personally, like I wear sports bras all the time, underclothes, uh, whenever I go out every day, like I'd rather a sports bra than a regular like t-shirt bra. But this, you can see like, you know, all the like linings and stuff. Now I think that they have um, another bra. They have like two different types of bras. I think the other one is more, a t more of a t-shirt bra, but I don't think that you can get past like, there's like a little like zipper here. I don't think you can get past it. I think that's on both of them. So this whole zipper part is gonna be there. Um, but this part, these lines are not, these are not gonna be on the other bras. Um, but like I said, if you are using Nike bras, Adidas bras, Under Armour bras, and those sports bras are not working for you, I feel like this would be a step up. But I don't think it's gonna solve all the problems that they make it seem like it's gonna solve. At least not for girls like me. I'm curvy. But I also like to do a lot of running, um, a lot of HIIT workouts, and I don't think that this is the best fit, but also what is better, you know? Um, I don't really know another bra that tackles this. I've been looking for a bra that tackles this kind of stuff. I have not found one. Um, I've had friends recommend me bras. They also do not have boobs like me or do not work out like me. So whenever I put them to the test, they rarely rarely live up to my expectations and like I said maybe I have high expectations but um yeah that's my honest review I would say to buy it if you're a triple d and below um if you're above that if you just have not found a bra that you feel like works for you try it we already pay 70 dollars for bras anyway 50 60 dollars for a bra why not go ahead and um, try this one and if you go on their website I think that you can like put your email address in and they'll give you like a percentage off. Um, also, like I said, they have free returns, um, free exchanges. Um, and it also comes to this really cute like little like lingerie bag um, that you can like wash stuff in. I used to wash my makeup, <laughs> my makeup uh, sponges. So um, it's cool. But like I said, uh, for me, it's a strong 6.5 because of the fit. I can't really wear it outside of working out because of the you know, the imprints and stuff. And then it also did not keep me as compact as I had imagined it would. So that's my review. And hopefully you like this video, please make sure that if you like my videos, that you subscribe, that you like, and that if you know a girl like me who is thinking about trying this bra, if you've seen the ads or whatever, make sure you share this video so that way um, I can continue making videos and review things for you. So also if you have any suggestions of videos that you would like to see, please leave those in the comments below. But again, thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy.